Hello everyone. This video covers the integration between Vertica and Quack using Vertica Pi to leverage Vertica's in database machine learning capabilities combined with Quack's MLOps capabilities using churn example that predicts the customer who is likely to churn. To start with demo, it is advised to use Python version from 3.7 to 3.9 because they are both supported by Vertica Pi and Quack. For best practice, we will create a working directory now. So, creating a working directory named MLOps test and creating a Python environment as shown here. And now, let's activate the Python environment. Then, we will install Vertica Pi package using this command which is a python library to leverage Vertica's machine learning capabilities. Once this is done, we will install the Quacks Python SDK using this command. To perform operations against the Quack platform, you first need to authenticate your user. To do so, run the command quack configure. For this reason, you need to contact Quacks team for a username and the API key. Enter your API key and check if the authentication succeeds. Once it is succeeded, we can start working on this Quack CLI. Now we will create a project. You can run the following command by specifying the project name and the project description. We will now log in to our account in the Quack platform. We see that the project has been created. You can have multiple projects here and also you can create a new project by clicking create new project, giving it a unique name and then a description. So after creating a project, you can create the model. To create the model, we need to specify the project to which the model will be built in. For this, we need to provide the project ID that can be found in the platform and then specify the model's name and the description. Once model is created and the model ID is shun model, let's go back to the Quack platform and refresh it. You will see your model here. Also, multiple models can belong to the same project. Each model has different sections like overview and builds where each model version is saved and more. Now we will need to build this model. To do that, they have a specific structure of the model. You need to pull that by running the command quack model in it. And then specify the directory name and the model class name which will generate a folder of the files to build this model. So now let's open the chan model folder. And we will see two subdirectories in that, which are the main and the test. The main directory is the most important one that contains the conda ML file, which has all the required dependencies to create the environment and model.py file where we can prepare the data train and serve the model and init.py file sets up the imports for the Quack model platform. So that is picked up, the, picked up by the model build process. Each model file contains two mandatory functions which are the build and the predict and here we will go through our churn example by importing Vertica by Python library. First, we will create a connection with the Vertica database by providing db details and the credentials. In the init method, we connect with Vertica DB using this connection and then we initialize the model. And then we will have a choice between either create a separate method for data preparation or we can do the data preparation inside the build function. I just want to mention here that the training is always done in Vertica so that the heavy load is pushed to Vertica and it can be done fast at scale. And then we will go to predict function and here we will show two different cases. The first case is where we have the new data in Vertica and we do the inferencing inside Vertica just by passing name of the table and then the results are stored inside Vertica that means zero memory operations. 
The second case is, for example, you want real-time inferencing where the data is coming from other sources. For that, we can convert our model to mem model, which is an in-memory model, and do predictions in memory, then save these results into Vetica using pandas to Vetica. So after creating all these functions inside the class, we can build our model by specifying to which model will fetch this code and then we will run this command. Now we will go to our pack platform, open churn model and we will check our builds and then we'll see a version of this model. We'll go through different steps to be validated and this model may take several minutes. And then we can also check the code in the code section and we can see our logged metrics on the left side. And now after the build is successful, it is ready to deploy. There are three different ways of deployment. We can go with the real time and we can configure the resources allocated for this deployment and then we can deploy. So it may take few minutes to get deployed. From the overview section, we can check the resources used by this model from the responses, error percentage, CPU, and then the memory utilization. We can also check the logs about the deployment in the logs section. Automation is one of the pros of this platform where you can automate the training and the deployment. The automation training is triggered by either the time interval or a condition where you can automate by time schedule even daily hourly weekly or you can use a cron for another period of time the only thing you need to do here is you need to push your code to git so that the platform will be pulling the code wherever it is needed and then provide the git url branch and the resources now scroll down and set the deployment specification. We can now set the deployment condition based on a metric that we prefer. We use a threshold for that. So whenever the new model is trained and its score is above this threshold, it will be deployed automatically and then click continue provide the name to the automation and click save once the automation gets created click on run now and it will be running the first version of the model now we can check the resources allocated for this automation and so you can edit it whenever we want when we go to the build section we will see our version that has been created using this automation if the metric specified is above the threshold based on the deployment condition, then it will be automatically deployed by deploying the previous one. Here it is not deployed because the score of the training is less than the threshold. And also there is another way to do automation by clicking add automation, select trigger type as and when condition is met, specify the metrics and the threshold condition and then you can automate it. And we can stop the automation just by one click and also we can undeploy the model by clicking on undeploy. Now after model gets deployed, let's use Jupyter Notebook to run the prediction against the model and view the results of predictions that are show, stored in Vetica database. We will import Vetica Py dependencies and connect to the Vetica by providing DB details. And then we will import back inference dependencies and provide model ID and the environment name. We will create a table with any name and provide the table name in the code to store our results. Here we have created this definition of table where we store our output data. Now we will read the new data from Vetica. Now we have the new data and we will do inferencing inside the Vetica. So these are the few lines of code which is used to do inferencing inside Vetica. 
Lastly, we can view the results of the prediction for the new data that is stored inside Vertica. So based on the results, we can see whether the customer is likely to churn or not. So this way you can integrate Vertica with Quack and provide end-to-end -end machine learning solution. So for more information, refer Quack Solution Guide. Thank you.